tonight is January the 7th 2014 I gotta show you this this is worth seeing I think this is a really nice little fender amp with uh, six V6's in the output and it was brought to me by the customer and it goes into some terrible howling fits and what have you I don't know if you can see it here but I've got one tube this one right here is labeled as left and this one is labeled right well this one was on the left this one was on the right and I took some pictures of it but I'm not going to try to duplicate everything here because uh, it's, it's pretty uh, easy to for me to show you what's going on okay uh, everything's working great here's its sine wave output here's its uh, voltage and power this is its power up here across 8 ohms this is its uh, voltage if you square that divided by 8 you'll get that number by the way I got it into my monster load down here but anyway watch this I'm going to uh, this tube right here turns red but I'm going to thump it left and thump it right and I'll, I'll show you okay let's do it once more see this is its output and all I'm gonna do is tap it I believe to the left one way or the other I'm gonna tap it to the left first and then watch what happens when I do that yep see there look at there I mean that is so easy to duplicate that it's just hard to believe it is that let me, let me turn out the light and you'll, you'll you'll see even more watch what happens see that tube starting to turn red I think it looks blue in the camera but it's actually red it's just a bad tube socket and it's probably on pin 5 because that's it. it's probably losing its bias voltage see there's its output again its power has dropped to uh, 2.9 volts and I'm going to thump it to the right here no I'm, I'm watching the output over there no it's it, it there it is there it is okay there it is see the red went away I'm going to thump it to the right okay so I, I made a good connection again again I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably pin 5 the grid so it's losing its bias voltage and uh, there its output is restored and so is its power so you can change tubes for a thousand years and you're not ever going to fix this one so what I'm going to have to do is just simply pull the chassis out and tighten up the pins and clean them and that kind of thing it, it's a mechanical problem it's what it is so there it is you can change tubes as, until uh, the cows come home and you'll never fix this amp until you just kind of sit down and play with it for a while and figure out what the real problem is. Hope this helps.